All right, ladies and gentlemen, I went to Mark Ween's restaurant last week. I just want to say the most delicious, most spiciest thing. You guys are popping your mouth, I promise you. So, I want to do my twist, my take on Mark Ween's Pad Crap Pow. Shall we? Oh, man. I just feel the burn already. So, we got some Thai chili going on. So, if you guys don't like it too spicy, just don't put too much. I feel like Mark Ween's restaurant, Pad Crap Pow I ate, was spicy. It was like a really good burn, you know? Like a burn that you kind of felt discomfort with, but couldn't stop eating it. Four pieces of garlic here. We're just gonna bust that. Mince it down. I'm also gonna do three green chili as well. To make it even more spicy, we're gonna dump it into our pastel, then pound it down, release that oil from the chili there. Next, we're gonna prep up our some basil. So, I did not wanna use Thai basil for this. I was told all around the internet that if you don't have holy basil, um, you can use Italian basil, okay? That's what I was told, right? That was what I was told. Don't kill me for this, Mark Weeds, but here in Vietnam, it's very tricky to find a holy basil in here. But I think, let me say this, I think I know a basil that tastes very similar to holy basil. You guys look at these leaves right here. So here in Vietnam, this basil is called, look at the leaves, look at the leaves, look at the leaves, you guys see? Hung cây. So this is basil, and I wanna say it does look very similar to the holy basil, but it is a little slight mintiness, which I did taste in uh, Mark Ween's uh, dish there. So I'm gonna use some of this as well, right? So I'm just gonna pick these out nicely, right? So I got a little bunch of Italian basil. Guys, don't come after me. I looked online and it said Italian basil is okay. Uh, Thai basil, what you eat on foot, like what you put on foot, is a little too harsh or a little too hef hefty, which I did find um, that taste as well in uh, Mark Ween's dish there. Right, I didn't taste any Thai basil that you put on foot. It was more settling and a little mintiness. So I'm just gonna add these two, right? Here we go, nice little plate. 600 grams of ground beef here into our pot. We let the browning of our meat commence. No seasoning at first. Here we go, our beef nice and brown. Seasoning time, one tablespoon. Fish sauce. We got one tablespoon sugar. I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of dark soy sauce just because I want that color. A little chopped garlic. Our chilies. Work it in. Once I got that worked in, two types of our basil in. So I'm just gonna stir fry this until the basil comes nice and warm tonight. Allo magma! Push it aside. Duck eggs. Fried it. set up so we got a side of rice here with two chai chili we got our beautiful meat mixture right on top two beautiful fried egg and there this is my twist my take on mark greens out pad crap pow order 69 like pad crap pow is up my young girl oh. pad crap pow Look at that. Okay, I didn't get the egg yolk down right. Oh, but I got this one good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, I've used duck eggs, but these duck eggs that Mark Weens used was like ultimate, ultimate of ultimates of ultimates. The duck eggs here, not that gold as Mark Weens, but still all good. So, let's try the topping first, guys. I know this is spicy already. Quick tap. Oh, it's got it. Nice. 
Mm. A little similar. <laughs> A little similar. But the basil needs adjustment, that's all. Spice level? Oh man. Spice level is there. You can definitely feel it in the throat. I'm definitely gonna feel it tonight. Mmm. That burn is on. So why did I do that? <laughs> okay, all around. What an amazing easy dish to make. Mmm. If you guys haven't had pad crap, pad crap, pad crap pound ever before in your life, mmm. I had it with many spices. If you guys are not into spices, it's just easy on the the that to the. But I think this dish is well known to be spicy, so it has to have a lot of chilies in it. Which is the chili taste. Mmm. I said, I can eat spicy food. Not a problem. It's just the end of it. That I can't handle. <laughs> and that's the truth.